Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet, starring the entire Nelson family. Here's Ozzie. Here's Harriet. Here's David. And here's Rick. Here they are, America's favorite family, the Nelsons. from out of town. She's 18. She's visiting her uncle. He has a jewelry store down the street, and that's all I know, so help me. Oh. <laughs> Hi, boys. Yeah, how you doing, Ray? How'd you like the senior? What are you talking about? Are you kidding? Oh, you mean Sandy. Do you know her? Well, just casually. She's 18. She's from out of town, and her uncle owns a jewelry store down the street. And that's all you know, so I help you. I see you guys have a little checking through, eh? Who wouldn't? Well, I sure would like to have a date with her. Not a chance. We already tried. She gave you the brush? Oh, no, she was very nice. She just said she was quite busy and couldn't go out tonight. Or tomorrow night, the next night, or any other night. How'd you make out? No, oh, just about the same. Well, no wonder. See, you guys are so crude. Just sit back and relax and watch a real operator go into action. Thanks, Rick. <laughs> Where are you going? Oh, he's talking about me. Are you kidding? Sit down. I hope he doesn't get arrested. <laughs> <laughs> nice day, isn't it? Oh, yes, it is. You're new around here, aren't you? Mm-hmm. I'm just visiting. Oh, my name's Ricky Nelson. I'm sort of an unofficial greeter here in town. This must be quite a friendly town. You're the twelfth unofficial greeter I've met. <laughs> I suppose you're visiting your relatives. Yes, my aunt and uncle. Oh, that's nice. How's the jewelry store doing? Fine, thanks. How did you know you owned a jewelry store? Well, I'm sort of gifted with extrasensory perception. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Somebody told me. I kind of figured that. I don't want you to think I'm forward or fresh or anything, but would you care to go to a show tonight? Well, it's very nice of you to ask me, but I'm not going to be here too long, and I really should spend the time with my relatives. Well, I have to be going. It's very nice to have met you, Dickie. Oh, uh, nice to have met you. Bye. Bye. Hello, my name is Dickie Nelson. I'm the unofficial greeter in town. Oh, really? I wonder if I could change my sights tonight. Take me. I'm yours. Hi, <laughs> Pop. Oh, hi, Rick. What's your problem? Oh, nothing. Why? Oh, you just look like a guy that's got problems. Well, what happened to you? What do you mean? Well, I thought you looked disappointed about something. Gee, does it show that much? No, but apparently it was a good guess. What's the matter? Oh, nothing. I just asked this girl for a date and she turned me down. Well, that's the way the ball bounces or whatever it is they say. <laughs> All right, Rick. You're just in time. I don't have any money. You can't borrow my new sweater. My car's out of gas. And whatever else it is you want, the answer is no. <laughs> you don't even want to do your own brother a small favor? Not especially. A little favor now might be remembered next year when you pledge the fraternity. What do you mean? Well, you'd be surprised how many errands we can think of for the lowly pledges. Well, who knows? Maybe I might want to pledge another house. Okay. Suit yourself. If anyone wants me, Mom, I'll be down at the jewelers. Okay, dear. Hey, wait a minute. Did you say jewelers? Yeah, what about it? What are you going down to the jewelers for? Oh, the emblem's loose on my fraternity ring. i got to get it fixed. I'll be right back, Mom. Hey, wait a minute, David. David? What do you want? I'll take it down there for you. Well, you just got through saying you wouldn't do it. You are going to take it to Barton's jewelry store, aren't you? Yeah. Well, yeah, I'll take it down there for you. Boy, sometimes I just can't figure that guy out. <laughs> keeps coming out. I think it's because the setting's a little too wide. Well, I'm sure my uncle can fix it. Gee, it's a beautiful ring. Oh, Kappa Sig. Yeah, it belongs to... It's Kappa Sig, all right. Mr. Charlie, this young man would like to have his ring fixed. I'm sorry, I don't remember your name. Rick Nelson. Rick Nelson. Hello, Rick. <laughs> How do you do, sir? Oh, this won't take long to fix. Would you care to wait for it? Oh, I'd like to very much. Take your time. All right. You're probably going to think I'm awful, but when I met you in the malt shop today, well, I thought you were another one of those high school boys. 
Oh, how about that? And you know a couple of them actually asked me for a date? Well, you can't blame them for trying. Oh, it was very nice of them, but, well, after you've been going out with college men, high school boys seem so immature. <laughs> oh, yeah, I imagine so. Kappa Sig is a good fraternity, isn't it? Well, we think it is. I believe you mentioned something about going to the show tonight. Oh, yeah, do you think you could make it after all? Well, I thought I should stay home, but I'm sure my aunt and uncle would understand. Oh, that's great. What time shall I pick you up? Um, how about, say, 8 o'clock? Okay. Here you are, young fellow. I think this ought to hold. Oh, yeah, that's fine. How much will I be? Oh, no, that's all right. There's no charge. Is there, Uncle Charlie? <laughs> no, it's all right. Oh, thanks a lot. That was very nice of you. Oh, that's okay. Well, I guess I'll see you at 8 o'clock then. Okay, I'll, I'll stop by for you. Bye. Bye. Come on, Ricky. Will you give me my ring back? Well, can't I wear it a little longer? Well, you've been wearing it since you came home. How much longer do you want to wear it? Till tomorrow morning. Come on, give it to me, will you? Well, suppose you lose it. Well, I've been wearing it for two years, and I haven't lost it yet. What's so important about David's ring all of a sudden? Well, it's, it's a delicate situation. What the heck are you talking about? Well, can I trust all of you to be discreet? What's your name, Rick? <laughs> Somebody's blabbed the whole thing already. <laughs> Nobody's even mentioned it. Who? Well, whoever we're talking about. Okay, it's a girl. She's Mr. Barton's niece. When I took David's ring in to get it fixed, I asked her for a date, and she said yes. Well, then what's your problem? Don't you want to go out with her? Yeah, but there was this little misunderstanding. She saw the Kappa Sig ring and thought it was mine. If she knows I'm still in high school, she won't go out with me. Well, how do you know? Well, she turned me down this afternoon. She says she only goes out with college men. Well, that's easy. I'll take her out. <laughs> David, I'm the one that's got the date with it. Well, what do you want to be, an imposter? It's like an athletic letter. You're not supposed to wear it unless you've earned it. I thought that was the idea of a fraternity. The brothers are supposed to help each other out. Well, sure, but you're not a fraternity, brother. You're just a brother, brother. <laughs> well, there's a bunch of double talk if I ever heard me. Here, here's your ring. Well, thank you. Well, excuse me? You know, Mr. Barton does pretty nice work. Must drop in there sometime and thank his niece. You stay away. Don't worry, I have other plans for tonight. You know, you really shouldn't have told her you were in college, Rick. I didn't tell her anything. She just saw the ring and jumped to conclusions. Besides, you can't blame him for trying to impress the girl. Remember that stuffed bear cat you impressed me with? <laughs> I never even owned a stuffed bear cat. That belonged to a fraternity brother of mine. Yeah, but I didn't find that out until about two weeks later. <laughs> That was entirely different. I wasn't trying to make you think I was something I wasn't. No, you're trying to make me think you had something you didn't. <laughs> Better phone her and tell her now. She's going to ask me why I'm not wearing the ring. Well, there ought to be something he can do. Hey, wait a minute. I've got an idea. What are you looking for? Yep, he's still here. Hello, Sandy. This is Rick Nelson. I have something I might as well tell you now, because you'll find out about it anyway. Oh, just a second. What are you doing, Mom? Well, this is Dave's fraternity pin, and he hardly ever wears it. He always wears his ring. Well, do you think that's all right? Well, certainly it's no different than driving somebody else's stuff's bear cat. <laughs> well, Sandy, I'll pick you up at 8 o'clock. Yeah, 8 o'clock sharp. And remember, Kappa Sig is always on time. <laughs> except that I just want you to have a good time, that's all. Since when have you been so concerned about me? Well, I just hate to see you go to some place like Barbecue Bob's, for instance, and waste your money on that food. Barbecue Bob's? Hey, have forgotten about that. Maybe we'll go out there tonight. Yeah, why don't you do that? It's a great place to spend an evening. Well, I thought you were knocking it. Well, it's under new management. <laughs> I probably won't go out there. Wally doesn't like spare ribs. Well, what does he like? Hamburgers. Yeah, that's an idea. We haven't been to Hamburger Harry's in a long while. Hey, why didn't I think of that? It's a perfect spot for you guys. Do you want me to call up and make reservations? At a drive-in? <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure we're going there. Well, where are you guys going? Well, I don't know, but what difference does it make? Oh, well, I could say it's a pretty disorganized way to run a fraternity. Well, if and when you become a member, you can bring it up at one of the meetings. I'll be seeing you. Well, I sure hope not. <laughs> okay, have your time. Why didn't you ask him where he was going? Why well, don't I have to ask him that? Why not? You always ask me. Watch him, Mom. I think he's been nipping at the witch hazel. <laughs> where are you going tonight? 
two show, get some to eat. I don't know where yet. Depends where Dave is going. Oh, where is he going? Well, I couldn't find out. I don't want to run into him while I got this pin on. Well, did he give you any idea? No, all he said was he'd probably wind up someplace in town. Well, and that's simple. Why don't you go someplace out of town? Hey, there's that place out on the highway, the old salt. You know, with all the cute decorations. That's a real nice place. Why don't you try that? Yeah, that's a good idea. And thanks a lot for the pin and, and everything else. What do you mean, everything else? Well, I'm afraid I'll need about five dollars more. <laughs> ABC to dressmaker. <laughs> Let's say, Mary, I wonder if you could figure out something for me. Her name is Sandy. She's from out of town. She's 18. She's visiting her uncle. He has a jewelry store down the street, and that's all I know, so help me. Oh. <laughs> Hi, boys. Yeah, how you doing, Rick? How'd you like the senior? What are you talking about? Are you kidding? Oh, you mean Sandy. Do you know her? Well, just casually. She's 18, she's from out of town, and her uncle owns a jewelry store down the street. And that's all you know, so I help you. I see you guys have been a little checking through, eh? Who wouldn't? Well, I sure would like to have a date with her. Not a chance. We already tried. Did she give you the brush? Oh, no, she was very nice. She just said she was quite busy and couldn't go out tonight. Or tomorrow night, the next night, or any other night. <laughs> How'd you make out? No, oh, just about the same. Well, no wonder. See, you guys, whatever it is they say. <laughs> All right, Rick. You're just in time. I don't have any money. You can't borrow my new sweater. My car's out of gas. And whatever else it is you want, the answer is no. <laughs> you don't even want to do your own brother a small favor? Not especially. A little favor now might be remembered next year when you pledge the fraternity. What do you mean? Well, you'd be surprised how many errands we can think up for the lowly pledges. Well, who knows? Maybe I might want to pledge another house. Okay. Suit yourself. If anyone wants me, Mom, I'll be down at the jewelers. Okay, dear. Hey, wait a minute. Did you say jewelers? Yeah, what about it? What are you going down to the jewelers for? Oh, the emblem's loose on my fraternity ring. i got to get it fixed. I'll be right back, Mom. Hey, wait a minute, David. David? What do you want? I'll take it down there for you. Well, you just got through saying you wouldn't do it. You are going to take it to Barton's jewelry store, aren't you? Yeah. Well, yeah, I'll take it down there for well, you. Well, it's very nice of you to ask me, but I'm not going to be here too long, and I really should spend the time with my relatives. Well, I have to be going. It's very nice to have met you, Dickie. Uh, nice to have met you. Bye. Bye. Hello, my name is Dickie Nelson. I'm the unofficial greeter in town. Oh, really? I wonder if I could choose some sights tonight. Take me. I'm yours. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mom. Well. Hi, Rick. What's your problem? Oh, well, nothing. Why? Oh, you just look like a guy that's got problems. Well, what happened to you? What do you mean? Well, I thought you looked disappointed about something. Gee, does it show that much? No, but apparently it was a good guess. What's the matter? Oh, nothing. I just asked this girl for a date and she turned me down. Well, that's the way the ball bounced. Just so crude. Just sit back and relax and watch a real operator go into action. Thanks, Rick. <laughs> hey, where are you going? Oh, he's talking about me? Are you kidding? No. I hope he doesn't get arrested. <laughs> <laughs> nice day, isn't it? Oh, yes, it is. You're new around here, aren't you? Mm-hmm. I'm just visiting. Oh, my name's Ricky Nelson. I'm sort of an unofficial greeter here in town. This must be quite a friendly town. You're the 12th unofficial greeter I've met. <laughs> I suppose you're visiting your relatives. Yes, my aunt and uncle. Oh, that's nice. How's the jewelry store doing? Fine, thanks. How did you know he owned a jewelry store? Well, I'm sort of gifted with extrasensory perception. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Somebody told me. I kind of figured that. I don't want you to think I'm forward or fresh or anything, but would you care to go to a show tonight? The Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet, starring the entire Nelson family. Here's Ozzie. Here's Harriet. Here's David, and here's Rick. Here they are, America's favorite family, the Nelsons. I wonder who she is. I don't know. I've never seen her before.